Today we're making sous vide roast beef. This was inspired by our recent cruise on the Royal Caribbean. Mm. The food there was exceptional. Yeah, I guess we they... ate like everything. <laughs> we had second dinner. We had one dinner, and we're like, oh, we should get some fruit from the buffet. And then we looked and we're like, oh, this looks good. And this looks good, and we picked up like. We came back with like two more plates of food. I gained ten pounds I for like sure. Five pounds. So if we're a little fatter in this video, you know why. <laughs> I think the first meal that we had when we first got on cruise was at the Park Cafe. Mm. They have a, a roast beef there. It was very tender and tasty. So this is why we want to do a uh, sous vide roast beef today. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so today's recipe, really simple. We have our cut our beef. We're using sirloin tip today. It's a less expensive cut from above the knee of the cow. It is leaner, but it packs a lot of flavor. If you do it right, especially in the sous vide, you can get this tasting like prime rib. I personally like the flavor of the beef, so I try and usually keep all my beef recipes really simple. We don't need too much stuff. We need salt, pepper, garlic, and rosemary. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. How do you even say that? I think it's like Worcester sauce. I don't know. This stuff. Use it. We're going to take one extra step and we're going to roast the garlic and the rosemary in a little bit of oil just to bring out the flavors. Some people complain that the sharpness of the garlic is a little bit too much in sous vide. I personally haven't had that problem, but I do roast it before I put it in the bag. You want to generously salt your beef. Don't forget that it's a very thick cut and it probably wouldn't penetrate all the way. So you want to get all sides. We're going to do a little bit of pepper. You use the extras to get the other sides. Get rid of any silver skin okay. because you won't be able to chew through that. How big is this piece of meat? This is about two pounds. Okay. So it's a very small cut. You're going to want about half a pound per, per person. person. Yeah, but if you have like big eaters, I think maybe three quarter pounds or if yeah. you want a lot of leftovers. And next, we're going to bag it. Oh, that was easy. We're going to take this straight into the bag, put in the rosemary, the garlic pieces. It's going to be in there for several hours. The flavor is going to circulate. So our last thing we're putting in today is Worcestershire sauce. And one one tablespoon. tablespoon. We can cook this for 48 hours, 72 hours, whatever you want. That's a long time. The longer you cook it, it might be more tender, but you're also squeezing out all the juices and it's going to be eventually turn mushy. Hopefully it's tasty. The pro tip, whenever you do your meat, you're gonna to wanna to fold down your bag so you don't, you don't dirty it. Okay. When, the, when the bag is wet or dirty, it actually makes it very hard to seal. Very hard to seal. Mm -hmm. And you do not want a broken sealed bag. I'm just here to like watch and eat. The one thing I always do is double seal the bag. So we put it in our food saver to suck out the air and stop it before the liquid comes out. Once the air is out, uh, this is ready to go. We're gonna put it into the sous vide, 138 for 20 hours. We like our meat more medium, mm -hmm. but you can adjust it to whatever you like. Yeah. Twenty-two hours later, this is ready. We are going to take it out. We'll put it straight into our ice bath. We're going to cool it down. Our beef is sufficiently cooled now. What we're going to do, we're going to save all these juices because that will turn into your jus, and that's what we will serve with our roast beef. What I do, I just cut a little corner. Perfect. Cut a little corner. Make sure you have enough because you don't want the whole beef falling out. All right. Get all the juices you can. Any more of the rosemary or the garlics. Before placing in the pan, make sure your meat is as dry as possible by patting it down with a paper towel. Add a bit of oil, then get your pan smoking hot. That's the sound you want to hear when the meat goes in. Flip your meat every few minutes until brown on all sides. Kevin is super extra, so he likes to use his blowtorch. Okay, once you have it brown on all sides, we're ready to go. The house will get a little smoky, so nothing you can do about it. That's how you get all the flavor. Roast beef is done. We like to season a little bit. So here's some of that prepared jus. I'm mean, gonna just put it on here. I think usually you dip it, right? We can like dip when it. you have like a prime rib sandwich. You yeah. Kind of dip it in. This is yours. This is the piece. Okay. All right. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. Very tender. It's beefy. Always properly salt your meat. So I'm just watching us eat now. Considering that it is a 
you know, cheaper cut of meat. It is very flavorful, still, yeah. there's a lot of beefiness in it, and the sous vide made it very tender. You can see that it doesn't have a lot of uh, marbling in it, and, uh, you know, it can easily feed a big family. I think it's perfect uh, plan ahead Sunday roast. It's minimal work. We put in how many, like 15 minutes of actual working time. We salted it, bagged it, put it in the sous vide 20 hours, then to the pan for about five minutes. So I think you can serve this up with like mashed potatoes or, you know, green beans, carrots, you know, the typical Thai stuff. And Yorkshire pudding? Sure. <laughs> so what we do with leftovers is we make uh, nice sandwiches with it. And so you can watch that in our next video. Are we actually going to do that? Yeah. What type of sandwich? Roast beef sandwich. So why would you make a video of like just bread and beef together? Isn't that boring? Roast beef melt. Ah, see? Should I say that? Yeah, because like that's boring. Okay.